Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we will learn about component scope in Alpine GS. So, scope is one of the important things you have to know. Uh, it was uh, a big issue in uh, Alpine version 2, but in version 3, they have resolved it and it is very nice. So, let's see how it is going to work and I'll go to my code editor and show you how exactly it is going to work. In the same component and events, I'm going to work on this one. I don't have to create another file. So, uh, in the previous video, we learned about like component, how you can create this and how you can change the component data, like the data that you have here. Now, if you have multiple components in here, for example, this is another component and this data is not accessible in this one. For example, if you have an extra data, uh, which you can put in here, let's say name is equal to, uh, let's say Alpine app and this name is not accessible in this component because uh, this component is separate from this one that is called a scope so we will talk more about component communication in the future video and shared data but for now anything that you have written here will be accessible only inside this one now when it comes to that part uh, like you have nested components also this is one component. What if you have a component inside this one? You have a div and inside this one, you are going to start creating like X data. And this is another component. This is the parent and this is the child component. Now, if you specify a data in here, for example, the data for this one is going to be child and it is going to be true. For example, this is just a data. It could be anything. This is a child component now child will not be accessible inside the parent in here but the counter will be accessible inside this one that is called a scoping so you have to understand when you define a property or value in here this will be accessible inside the child component as the same name in here unless you overwrite it here so if you specify a counter in here which is another one then that way it is going to use its own component so you have to understand this and this is called a scope now any component that you have in here will be accessible inside the child component in version 2 of alpine.js that was not possible so if you had a nested component inside each other you wouldn't be able to access the data inside the child component but now you do in alpine version 3 which is cool so yeah that's it for this video if you have any question you can comment below this video and yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.